What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm standing up today, it's a little bit different. As well as, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to pick out an outfit. I get this question a lot. How do you pick an outfit for different occasions? Basically just how to break down and pick what to wear for certain occasions. As well as if you are an OG of this channel, probably pre 80,000 subscribers, you should do a series called What Would I Wear? I'd ask you guys questions on what would I wear in different situations. It could be with a celebrity, it could be going to like a party in LA, with YouTubers, different things like that. And I kind of went away with this series, but I want to bring it back for you guys. So if you guys like this video and you like the style that I'm doing, I'll do a part two with more what would I wear and ask you guys some situations if we get 7,500 likes. That's, that's the rule. That's for me to know that you guys want to see it again. So if you do, drop a like down below. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go through. I've got my old rack over here. So I'm going to head right back there. I'm going to kind of like zoom that way. And then I'm going to show you guys and describe how I would pick an outfit, the struggles I have of sometimes not having something to wear, which you guys know I have so many clothes and we're going to go on from there. So let's jump back this way. We're in the chair now, but I think it's a little bit bright or dark back here. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Make it like a light blue. There we go. We have a nice toned background as well as I'm still drinking my coffee. This video is also going to be me just being real with you guys as far as it comes to like picking up, it's putting on clothes because I do get a lot of messages and this is not something that I've ever said about myself. And if this is what you think, I appreciate the kind words. Some people, they call me a fashion god and I don't think that that is a proper term for me. You know, there's the food god and he is a connoisseur of foods. I don't necessarily think I'm a fashion god at all. I really put together clothes and I show you guys on video and it just started with me dressing different from my friends and they asked me how to dress like I do and I thought I like making videos and I like the way that I'm dressing and the way that I dress so let's just go ahead and make videos out of it and I did and somehow I you know got to this point where I'm at and I have a large influence and I'm just like you when it comes to not being able to pick out an outfit. So you guys have seen my closet. It's pretty massive and I have a lot of clothes but half the time I cannot pick an outfit out. When I say I can't pick an outfit, I mean, you know, I do stuff online. So when I want to pick an outfit to go out to dinner, I typically don't have as much of a heart of a time, but like, let's say I'm filming, okay? Here's one of the first scenarios, I'm filming. When I'm filming, I do a very simple outfit. I don't even wear shoes when I film. I wear socks and most of the time, like my slides. I've got some minimal S19 denim. This is the denim that I wear almost every day. Like this is a denim I literally wear all the time. It's a nice skinny denim. It's a nice wash. It's like super comfortable. It feels like sweatpants to me because they're stretchy. And then it's for like a long sleeve. So when I film, I don't like to do too much because I don't want you like, I like to put off the image that when I wake up or when I just sit in my apartment, I'm wearing like a full flashy outfit because that's just not like, I don't do that. It, I got to be real with you guys. I think it's like that for most YouTubers. Like I've heard a lot of other YouTubers talk about how people clown how they like wear their clothes on videos, but it's like you're hanging out at your house. You don't want to do something crazy. I'm kind of in the middle. Like I'm, they got to talk about fashion. So I want to do a little bit you know, something, but nothing crazy. So I'll like throw on like this HFLA t-shirt, minimal denim, and I have my slides on. But of course, there are different scenarios to wear different things. And I have the rack behind me. If you watched my videos a long time ago, I used to bring this rack out. It's been in my laundry room for a while now, just for drying clothes. And I know I'm gonna get the question, what is the rack? I got it from Target, I think it was $9.99 or $14.99. If it's still available, I'll link it. I don't know if it is. It's just a simple clothing rack, and I've got like some hangers from Target on there as well. Let me actually pull this closer. This thing's gonna break. I have way too much stuff on it. All right, we got some of that in print. So I wanted to pull out a little bit of my closet to show you guys just some certain things that I would pick in certain situations. Now, I didn't ask you guys for different situations like I said, which I might do in the future again if the video hits the like point, but I've got a few different things here and I might put some of these on and show you guys some clips. But basically when I'm picking an outfit, you know, you go and you look at your closet and the biggest thing is you don't want to wear something that you've worn before. And I think that's the biggest struggle that I have is when I go into my closet, I've worn it on social media. I've worn a picture of an outfit on Instagram. I've worn that shirt. I've worn these pants. And you guys see it and I see your comments that I wear a lot of the stuff the same because I don't get new clothes every day. But I would like to vary as much as I can in the pictures I take as well as I go on video. And so when I wear the same shirts a lot, like I wear my pleasure shirt a lot, I think... I don't know if that's in here. I think it's in my closet. The pleasure shirt a lot. And a lot of you guys are like, why do you wear that shirt so much? It's more or less like... Whatever I'm comfortable in, I'll wear when I'm on video and I'm not putting together like a crazy outfit. And so that's why I don't think I put together a lot of outfits recently and why I thought you guys are like this. So actually, let me go ahead and pick up this camera and I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. So of course I have like, this is a good chunk of my closet right here, but over here, I just did a live stream last night and sold so much stuff. Let me, let me show you. All of this is sold. 
literally everything here is sold so when i take it to my closet in a second it's gonna look a little bit empty but this is literally all sold and i've got to ship it out today got the boxes out. it's crazy so here's what my closet looks like now it might look a little bit lackluster because a lot of stuff is out there but this still is a lot of clothes you know i've got this many t-shirts obviously there's still some out there sweatshirts whatever put the pants over here now and when i come in here sometimes it's just you know like i've worn this like okay worn this metallic shirt so many times supreme motion logo tee worn it so many times in pictures green t-shirt very simple essential i have the pleasure shirt wear it all the time pants like i feel like i wear everything all the time and so for me it's like trying to like cycle out clothes because i want to have new stuff for instagram new stuff for the outfits on here but at the same time i don't want to go being buying so many clothes so that's why i ended up selling a lot of mine now i do feel like i just took you in my closet last video but that's basically where it's at right now i also wanted to say if you guys have not followed me at snuff that's where i'm going to be putting full pictures of each of these outfits i'm about to do on there so you get to see a video clip but i think a picture also likes to show a little bit more style of it so if you want to follow me on there down below snups i've had for a while i have almost 6,000 followers there my least followed social media actually i'm lying i have more followers on there than i do twitter right now which is actually kind of crazy on snups i talk about a lot of my different social medias I like to do follow sprees but basically you can post outfits you can post things for sale i have a streetwear group on there you guys can go ahead and go to that if you want to it's my group basically we have discussions people who watch my videos can talk about stuff people can post with different opinions on like an outfit post up their outfit say what do you think are these too tight are these shoes look weird different kind of things like that so you can kind of incorporate you know a small community of people in the street or a small community i think there's like 2,000 people in that group which is not that small so i think it's a cool thing to have just the way to communicate with you guys i did a follow spree last night on there as well so if you want to follow me on there i will link it down below but snuffs is definitely an awesome place you know there are a ton of different you know people on social media who use it as well i know richie lee's on there paul Cantu's on there they all have profiles you can go and check them richie has like 100,000 more followers than me maybe 120,000 more far as me, but I'm catching them. We'll get there slowly, so follow me down below if you guys want to. But basically, all that goes to say is I struggle just as much when it comes to picking an outfit as you guys. And so I'm gonna go through my mindset and my mentality of when I'm picking an outfit so you guys can kind of get a little bit of an insight. So for me, a lot of the time I could go comfortable and a lot of the clothes that I own, I wouldn't not wear kind of thing. So I don't like to buy clothes that I don't think I wouldn't wear because then when it comes time to putting on an outfit, I just wouldn't pick that certain piece and it's just gonna sit in my closet, get pushed back, get pushed back, get pushed back until I just never wear it and I end up having to sell it for a third of the price. So basically that's kind of how a lot of stuff that I don't wear goes and so I try to avoid that as much as I can. Now I picked out a few different pants. Now there are some in here that I really don't wear a lot and it's hard because we all know we get in a rhythm or maybe it's just me getting a rhythm of wearing the similar clothes. So like I'll go through a cycle of wearing like five t-shirts, five pants, whatever. And that's the ones that I wear at a primary time because I'm like, oh, this looks good. And some of the stuff that I wore before maybe doesn't look good anymore. So like, for example, one of the main pieces I have, my most expensive sweatshirt crew neck, is this off-white piece. I do not wear this a lot. And this is something I'd wear for a nicer occasion. I would say if I'm going to dinner, I'd wear this. Now, I showed up to Thanksgiving. And the first thing that was said to me by a younger family friend was, why are you wearing that? That's not nice enough to wear Thanksgiving. And I said, this is the most expensive piece of clothing I own. And they, you know, said there's paint splatter all over it. I understand. And it's kind of, it. I mean, it is. But this is something that I like to wear a little bit nicer just because it's one of those things where if you know the brand, but I'm not going to say I'm going to sit here and look like a brand writer. That's the word I'm going to use for that. I'm not going to go ahead and say something like that. This is like one of two off-white pieces that I own. And this is one that's a little bit nicer. Like I said, I would not wear this like if I'm just going to the mall, I think that's doing too much. I don't like to feel like I'm just doing too much. So I have pictures of Thanksgiving from this. And it was also a very relaxed Thanksgiving dinner. It wasn't like people wearing suits. It was at a family friend's house. Now, another thing that I would wear or that I do wear when I like to dress up a little bit more is a bomber jacket and specifically a nicer bomber jacket. So this is kind of like, it's kind of like a... I don't, I don't know the material you want to call polyester so that's the name that it says in the materials this isn't only the blind bomber jacket right here it says only the blind on the back it's a nice material and so i think i can wear this in nicer situations so basically i would wear this over like a button down so i've got a button down from h m it's in the closet hold on so this white button down right here h m it's their premium cotton whatever it was like nine dollars fifteen dollars and i'll wear this under like this or i've worn it under my huge puffy coat which is not on the rack but you guys know which one that is that urban outfitters puffy coat I've worn an outfit like that before. And so that's what I would do for the nicer side. I like to have something that goes over another piece or, you know, I like to have a main attraction piece when it comes to the top. And 
for me, it's a little bit weird because when other people dress nice, they'll put on dress pants and, you know, different things like that. I still wear denim when I wear something nice because that's the nature of the styling of my outfits. I wear this HFLA track denim a lot. Now, people say this is not nice. So if you go up to like any of your grandparents, I mean, my grandparents luckily know what I do. They, you know, they don't mind it. There are plenty of grandparents that make fun of the holes in the knees. Basically, in general, the distressed look because they'll say, you know, why did you get jeans that purposely have holes in them? And, you know, it also has paint on it. So I'll, a lot of the people who aren't of the mindset of the fashion that I'm into wouldn't understand. But for me, this is a little bit nicer because it's got, I don't know, the text on it just adds to it, just the different pop of color. I think that this is a nicer pair of denim. And so it's also like black, so I would say Black could look more like a khaki pant because you can't see it. Like this one, you can tell it's like a denim material. But you know, when you're wearing blue jeans, it's you know it's a blue jean. When you're wearing black pants, sometimes you can maybe pass them off as a khaki or something. That's just my personal opinion, maybe not. Now that's just basically for like the nice robin. But when I'm kind of doing a more relaxed, so the situation I would say next is like the tear down would be like going shopping or going to the mall, which I've talked like a while back about what I would wear. And so basically when I go to the mall, I'm not trying to flex too much, but I want to put something nice on. What I will do for that is focus on the shoes. Now for the last outfit, I'll wear Chelsea boots, straight up Chelsea boots. They're minimal Chelsea boots I have, as well as I have some from other UK. Chelsea boots, definitely when I'm going out, dressing nice, definitely wear those. And sometimes I'll wear these jeans with Chelsea boots because they do look really good. Basically, I have my whole shoe set up over here. I'm gonna grab a shoe and basically go over an outfit I picked. Okay, so I actually wore this the other night and this is a good example. So I have the CDG Converse here, not too hyped of a shoe, has a little bit of branding on it and you know, it's got something a little bit extra rather than a reg regular Converse. But when I was going to pick an outfit, I thought I'm gonna go with this shoe and this shoe particularly looks good with this skinny denim just because of how I like to wear them. I don't like to wear it with the denim covering the whole, you know, top of the shoe since it is a high top. And so I'll have it kind of like tucked in the back. I went ahead and picked this denim here, which is from Zara. It is a very, it's a pretty skinny denim. And so I try to, I do wear a lot of skinny denim. I'm not going to lie. Some people want me to wear something different. These have like an outside zipper, but it helps. So it, I thought I just ripped it open. It helps. So it's a, it's a nice taper down there, but it's just this denim here. And I wear that with that. I just explained what, what kind of style and why. And I try to subtly match. Now I'm not going to wear green pants with a red shirt. I'm gonna look like Johnny Christmas, but I would wear this for example, with, I would wear it with the off white crew neck. I would think that that's something I could wear, but that's not what I wore the other night. I wore a plain t-shirt underneath or like I would wear something like this, this Noon Goon shirt, very simple, has a little bit of branding on it. And then I wore this HFLA track jacket right here. So this has the hits of red and white. And I think that that matches perfectly. You have the hits of off white around the neck and that matches the bottom of the shoes. And I just think overall that that has a nice hit. You have the white with the shirt, you have the white on here and the black pants. And I think it's a nice combination. It's very relaxed. It's not doing too much in my opinion. You're almost wearing a little bit nice when I get to this, like this category is almost getting up to, I'm dressing a little bit nice, but not too much. Then you get to like the tier of comfort. And for me, comfy, I like to wear sweats or like these pants here. These are a Paxson zipper denim. Now I said I don't wear zipper denim a lot anymore because I really don't. This is a concealed zipper and it has a nice taper. So I'd wear these. They're comfortable and I've had them forever so I can like wear them if I'm gonna go like work on my car or something. But I have the Adidas sweatpants, these are like soccer track pants. These are like a go-to for when I'm just walking around. This is like, you know, just the comfy mode when you're at home, when you're going to Target. I go to Target a lot and I'll throw in something like that and I'll throw in some shoes and there's an outfit. So I guess what I wanna do now, cause that's the most of my explanation is pick an outfit for you guys, put it on and uh, show you guys what we're looking like. How can I do this? I need to find, maybe I'm gonna go on Instagram and say someone send me a situation for an outfit, okay? Okay guys, send me a situation really quick of a outfit that I need to pick out. So send me just some random situation where I'd have to pick out an outfit. I'm doing it on video right now, hurry. Now we wait and uh, let's just chill, drink some coffee, wake up a little bit, it's 10.30. Check out some of the feed. All right, it's been like four minutes. I finally got one. Shout out to E-L-C-H-X-A-P-O. I'm gonna click on your profile maybe. Okay, you're private, but shout you out. He said, you have to go to Virgil's house where he's performing as a DJ. So I gotta flex some off white. I wanna pick out something new that I haven't worn yet. Let me grab it. Let me let, let me grab the camera actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab you guys. Bring you with me. Oh, it's got brighter out. I need to bring this down. I can either, but, ah. I could either bust out something that I haven't worn before, off-white Air Force Ones, 
Or I could pull something out that's beat and show him, you know, I'm somebody who wears my shoes and stuff. So I got these. They're, they're beat like crazy. You guys can see. But I feel like I want to wear the, the Air Force ones because I haven't put it. Ah, this freaking Ikea rack. I haven't put an outfit together yet with them. So I'm going to grab these. Here's the base of the outfit. So that's what I do when I pick an outfit is I go for the base. And so from the shoes, it enables me to pick where I want to go up in because I like to kind of match the shoes just a tad bit. But with these shoes, they're more of like a white. So it's kind of harder to match, I would say. For the denim, like I said, everyday denim is the minimal S19. I'm going to wear those. And then I got to pick a top. Now, I don't want to be over the top and wear off-white shoes, off-white top. So maybe I'll do something a little more subtle. Actually, I'm going to try to go no branding or like no like screaming brands that because I, I would like to the outfit to speak for itself, not the brands. Also, I need to delete this because, um, yeah, everybody's going to send me a million messages. And then I have to pick the top. So let's see. Now, if we're going to a party at Virgil's, I assume there's going to be some people flashy there, but it, you don't want to show up to a party wearing too much. Now, when I've done these different situations, and I asked these before. There are a lot of stuff that people like will never happen. So I had to remember before. Somebody asked, like, what would you do if you're going to the clout house and you're going to hang out with rice gum? People are saying, oh, that would never happen. And then, look, at I was at the clout house twice. Shoes that are more expensive than your whole outfit. This is a one of a kind bag. It's like, the pop-up. But we change all. I don't know how many of you guys. And I had to pick outfits and I had a bunch of different outfits that I showed you guys on Instagram. But I'm going to go ahead and pick this out now. So, you know, I feel like if I showed up with the guest ASAP Rocky, there's a chance that ASAP Rocky would be there and I would get trolled because I'm fanboying which I would fanboy, 100%. But we could go for, hmm. If we're getting the red hits, I honestly would like to wear the track jacket because yes, it's a little bit bright and it's got a little bit of branding, but it's a little bit, you know, I would say subtle. So you got the shoes that, that, and I'm gonna throw on, I'm gonna throw on the pleasure shirt. Let me go grab that and throw on this pleasure shirt right here because I think it is a nice, you know, it's got a little bit of something cool on there, a little bit of logo. And I'm not throwing to me like Supreme, Bape, or anything like that. So that's the outfit I would pick. And I'm going to put that on, show you guys what it would look like out on the balcony, posting a picture on my snaps, and you guys can check it out there. And then we're going to come back here and wrap this up. Came in smelling like loud. Four rolls one to the ground. Hey, hit it, come get it now. Then I got to beat the trial. Bounce. Me came to shut this down. So who brought the photos? Twist caps, pop tabs on the locos. Fresh jungle juice for the locos. Oh no, formula got me slow mo with the starlight snapping photos. Mess down, and it's been a minute. My zone, and it's been a minute. So there's the outfit. I actually really like this outfit, if I'm being honest. The Air Force Ones fit so good, and I'm actually very excited to wear these in the future. And I'm glad I undies them. I just like the look of them. I think the red of the off white tag goes nice with this right here you got the nice little branding here and the nice fitting jeans i think it's an overall great outfit i actually really like it so instead of doing the stuff on the balcony i decided to go down and get actual pictures of it because i thought the outfit was dope so hope you guys enjoyed that and again if you want to see this again hit that like goal and i'll see you guys next time this is harrison signing out I don't know where I'm going, I just know where I'm headed, feel this